Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss what is bucket log in cloud storage bucket. So as part of this video, we'll be discussing what is bucket log and what is object retention log and how to implement it practically via console and also using command line tool that is GSUtil. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before starting, I just wanted to explain what is bucket log. So assume a scenario where your project is for six weeks. During that six weeks, no one should accidentally also delete any file from the bucket. So how to implement this scenario in bucket level itself? That is where this bucket log comes into the picture. Implement this bucket log at the bucket level. You can't delete or you can't remove any file from the bucket. It will be there for that specified duration. So this particular logic you can implement at the bucket bucket level that is known as bucket log or else you can implement at the object level that is called as object retention policy. So now I will log into my console. I will open my cloud storage bucket and I am going to create a fresh cloud storage bucket. Just click on this create and give a bucket name. For my demo, I will be using demo bucket log and you can give labels and I am going to keep all these values as a default one and my bucket is as uniform level. I will just continue and this is where we are going to set or configure our retention policy. So here you can see this retention you can just click on this retention and under this retention you can see set bucket retention policy here you can see best to guarantee compliance for all the objects in the bucket for a uniform retention period and this is for object retention so best to guarantee compliance at an individual object level for object specific retention needs so this is for individual object level and this is at the uniform bucket level now, if for in scenario, if my object versioning is enabled at the bucket level, then you can't set this bucket retention policy at the bucket level because object retention and set bucket retention policy as a class. So make sure if you set this set bucket retention policy, you will be not able to configure the object versioning. So you must be aware of it and you can see this bucket retention policy for 100 seconds or 100 days or 100 months or 100 years. As of now, I'll just go with 100 seconds. And the next one, if you want to enable object retention, you can do it. But once you have configured it, you will be not able to undo it because this action is permanent. So the data encryption, let it be same and just create. So our bucket is created here. You can see the configuration, all the details here under protection soft delete policy we have the default one object versioning is off and bucket retention policy is for 100 seconds so you can just go to objects click on this upload files upload a json file here i'll just upload my json file and then i just upload it i'll just refresh it you will be able to see it here yes the json file is uploaded now just try and deleting it so just click on this delete and since the retention policy is for 100 seconds, you will be not able to delete. Here you can see demo bucket log, the respective JSON file could not be deleted and just click on the view details. You can just go here and you can see object that particular subject to buckets retention policy or object retention and cannot be deleted or overwritten until 100 seconds. So this is what we have to wait till 100 seconds to make sure that bucket or to make sure that uh, retention policy is expired. So how you how you wanted to confirm this? You can just click on this, get this gsutil URI, or activate your cloud cell and use this gsutil ls iphone l and paste the gsutil URI here. And here you will be able to see the details. So when is the creation time and when is the update time and the storage class? The retention expiration is. Saturday 6 April 2024 8 that is for 100 seconds like 8.28.01 GMT. So content length content you can find all the other details here. So this is how you will be able to configure the retention policy but at the bucket level. Next I wanted to show you go to this protection and under this retention for components you will be able to see it here. So if you want, for example, from 100 seconds, you wanted to increase it to 1000 seconds. How you can do it? You can do it by just clicking on this edit and you can just add 1000 seconds and you can save it. Or else if you wanted to reduce from 100 seconds to 10 seconds, you can save it. Just click on this save. 
then it will be automatically you can see the retention period is for 10 seconds and if you want to delete this retention policy itself you can delete that as well and the lock feature so for example now the retention policy i can change it i can edit it i can remove that retention policy i can increase the time i can decrease the time as well but assume a scenario once this is configured you can't you shouldn't make any change to your retention policy so that is where this lock feature comes into the picture the moment i click on this lock you will be not able to see this edit or delete button obviously you can see this edit button but you can't decrease the time seconds it let it be in seconds or let it in days months or years you can't decrease it but simply you can increase alone uh, apart from that you will be not able to do decrease or delete and you can't do anything out of it once the retention period is expired then you will be able to delete the bucket itself but you can't revoke from lock to unlock that you can't do it because it is simply irreversible activity as of now so this is what now i guess like 120 seconds like 100 seconds must have been expired you can just go to objects and just click on this i'll just refresh it once and try deleting it now you can see this particular object will be deleted because the retention policy is expired from 100 seconds we modified to 10 seconds and then we are able to delete it so again we'll just upload one more file the same json key file will upload it here and i'll just click on this confirm upload started you can just refresh and you'll be able to see one file here yes the same file we have exit so under protection i'm going to click on this uh, lock so just click on this lock and copy the bucket so i'll just lock the policy here so the moment it locked you will be able to see the delete is it you can't delete the bucket you can edit it but from 10 seconds you can go to 11 seconds but not to 9 seconds because a locked retention policy can't be removed or reduced in duration so from 10 i'll just do 20 seconds and i'll save it and the same you can see it here retention period is 20 seconds now we can go and we can do the same here geosutil ls ifundl so here you can see creation time update time what is the created time 829 and the retention expiration is at 8 30 20 seconds we have to wait for 20 seconds and then you can see whether you will be able to delete it or now we'll if you want you can just give it a try you will be not able to delete this bucket delete this json file because the 20 seconds is not done this is what the bucket retention policy is and there is a scenario where once the retention policy expired for example in our case the 20 seconds is already expired and you don't want to delete it or you don't want to do it remove the file instead you want to prolong that retention policy how you can do it there is a way to implement that that is known as temporary hold and i'll show you how to implement it practically inside gsutil command line tool so now i'll just click on this delete i'll try to delete it this will be deleted now because 20 seconds is already expired now i'll just come out and i'll try to delete this bucket itself you clearly remember that the retention period is 20 seconds but the lock policy is enabled at the bucket since we are not able to reverse the lock policy the only way you can delete the bucket only after the retention policy is expired you can just click on this and i'll try deleting this bucket yes bucket is deleted so now i'll show you how to implement it via gsutil command line tool in order to do it i'll just Close all these things and I'll use gsutil make bucket and my bucket name is demo bucket lock policy. Let all the other details let it be same. This is a brand new bucket where there will be nothing there. For example, the retention policy there will be nothing there. Everything we have to do it from the scratch only so you can see demo bucket lock policy when it got created you can find all the other details and this is the bucket which is not uniform level it is access to object level like acl is enabled at the object level you can just click on this and you will be able to see the retention policy under protection you can just go and see the retention it doesn't have anything if you want you can set it from here but we are going to see how to do it from the command line tool so in order to do it, I'm going to use here GSUtil retention 
set 10 seconds 10 yes and you can do give d for days m for months and ey for years gs util set retention i'll just copy this and setting it for 10 seconds setting retention now we wanted to get it so i'll do the same thing gs util retention instead of set i'll give get and you can see the details here retention policy it is unlocked and the duration is 10 seconds we have not locked the bucket it is just unlocked duration is 10 seconds and effective time is 8 35 35 gmt and if you want you can increase it from 10 seconds to 60 seconds as well one minute also you will be able to do it so i'll just click on this and you can see the updated retention like duration also here you can see it is done and how you can just go here protection and you will be able to see this also and you can just refresh it once and here you can see retention period is one minute block delete you can edit all those things also here in the AGS hotel command so the next thing is we are going to copy the file so the same way how i uploaded file right the same way i'm going to copy the file from here so this is the file and i'm going to paste it here gs util copy and the respective bucket name just hit enter so the file is copied and you can see the file like i'll show you the same way how we discussed right in the um console the same way you can see it for the object level as well so just go and refresh it once you will be able to see one text file copy the path here and you can use gs util ls iphone capital L, and just paste this here you can find all the details of this particular bucket creation time update time and here you can see the retention expiration is for one minute 36 37 and you can find all the other details of this particular file since this is at object retention like object retention policy we are configuring this at the object retention policy not at the bucket level so i guess one minute is done now so what we are going to do is before deleting the bucket you can just use gs util ls iphone l and the respective file name you can just click on this so here you can see it is already unlocked it is done the time is done you can just confirm this. it's 8 38 am so the retention is already expired 837 so now you will be able to delete the but we are not going to do it instead we are going to see how to do the temporary hold where the particular file will not be removed from your bucket so how to do it in order to do that we will go here and we will see temporary hold gs util retention temp set so you can see the same here i'll just go copy this and come here gs util retention temp now try deleting that file you can use delete. setting temporary hold on the respective file now we will try deleting this file gs util remove and just paste it now you will be not able to remove it. even though the retention policy is expired since we have done the temporary hold we will be not able to delete it now how to release this temporary hold so you can just go and copy this command gs util retention temp release paste the bucket so now if you try to remove then you will be able to remove this like i'll just go and just hit enter gs util remove and now you will be able to remove the file so this is how you will be able to set a temporary hold on deleting the file so as of now under protection if you see the bucket is not locked so how to do that lock also now we will see the gs util retention lock and just it paste it and you will be able to see it. not at the object level but at the bucket level as well the settings cannot be reversed and uh, yes so bucket retention policy you can just cross check that as well go here and just do refresh and you will be able to see it after one minute you have to just wait and then you will be able to delete this bucket so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video and if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning